Okay, so maybe I'm a bit of a copycat, but I um, just wanted to show off my autographs that I got in person or through the mail when I was doing TTM. This is kind of like a Mike O tribute video because Mike goes, as we all know, loves to do the TTMs and he loves to get autographs in person. I used to do the same thing. I just got, you know, the reason why I don't do it no more is I'm lazy. I don't like writing letters because my hands start hurting after writing about the fourth or fifth letter. Sometimes even in the middle of a third letter, my hand will start cramping up and hurting. Um, I used to go and try to meet the players at the hotels, but here in New York, you get bum rushed when the player comes and starts signing. Uh, case in point, I was at a hotel for the Twins. I uh, wanted to get Joe Maurer. And when Joe Maurer came up, about like 10 people came behind me. And I was the, one of the first ones online. Or not even online, I was like right on the barrier by the hotel. And he came over to sign. And as soon as he came over, people bum rushed. And I got crushed. One guy was threw his hand at the back of my head hit me in the back of my head with his baseball and he's screaming, please sign, please sign, please sign. And needless to say, he got the signature, I did not. So that was the case, that was the point that I said to myself, enough's enough. Um, so basically I stopped doing the autographing. Um, I, unless it's a signing, then I'll go and do the autographing. But if it's just me going and autograph hounding and stuff like that, I generally don't do that no more. Um, Unless I know for sure that I'm going to get the autograph with minimal fuss. I do have other stuff that I wouldn't, I'm going to show off in later videos. So this is kind of like a part one of what I have. So um, let's get cracking. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Can, um, welcome to the channel if, you have, if this is your first time here. Um, this is my TTM slash in-person autograph that was a binder. So let's get on with it. Okay, this was a autograph I got when I was younger. I may have, may have been like 12. I actually got Manly at the stadium to sign the, the his picture in the program. And I then took the page out of the yearbook and taped it together. I know it's crap and I shouldn't have done that, but it's I didn't know any better. So that's I kept it because it was from my childhood. The next one, I did the same thing with Ed Whitson. I forgot I had Whitson's autograph. And he doesn't sign Yankee stuff anymore. I actually use a hard autograph now. This one is a picture of Jushin Thunder Liger, a Japanese wrestler. One of the best that ever, in my opinion, wrestled. Unfortunately, I didn't wait until the ink dried before I stuck it in the uh, page. So... Ruined a, per a perfectly good and really hard autograph to get. Next over here was a Scream Queen. Um, Leanna Quigley. Got her at a horror convention. Uh, this was one of the first autograph signings I went to as a kid. Uh, Ron Darling's got this during the 86 season. And this is this really... That now I think about it, it kind of ticks me off now. Uh, this was at Macy's. Macy's ran, had the autograph signing... They ran out of 8x10s, so what they did was Xerox copied a bunch of 8x10s, and by the time I got to Darling, this was the 8x10 I got. So, not a great pic, not a great autograph picture, but at least I got the autograph, and again, from my childhood, so I kept it. Um, this was a newscaster here in New York called Bill Mazur. Um, I actually stumped him when I was a kid back in 1983. I even remember the question I got him. Who was the only pitcher to ever win 20 games, lose 20 games, and win 20 games? I'll let you guys uh, try to figure that out. And uh, I'll give you the answer to that in my next video. Got this autograph when when um, Sean Waltman, who is better known as X-Pac, was wrestling in the Indies. And he signed it, the Lightning Kid. Because that's what he was going under at the time. I got a nice autograph from him. He was real nice to me. He's always been nice to me anytime I've ever met him. Uh, it's an index card of Henry Bam Bam Mullins, who was supposed to be the next big thing back in the late 80s, early 90s, and unfortunately didn't really turn out to be the next best thing. But I got him on an index card at the stadium, and then I just bought the photograph and matted them together on the page. Next, I got this at a Beatles convention. I do go to Beatles conventions because I am a huge Beatle fan, and Art Shamsky is at the fan, the fan Fest for Beatle fans every year. Um, he has a book. It's a really good book about the 1969 season when the Mets, the Jets, and the Knicks all won championships. 
So he signed this picture for me at there at the uh, convention. Next we got Kevin Moss. I tore this out. I had him sign the magazine page because I thought it was really good, cool looking. It was from an old baseball card magazine uh, with Mighty Mouse next to him. So he signed it for me and the John 316 inscription. Got this of Sean Alexander through his foundation. Just sent him an email a while back and he sent me this picture. Another Yankee that I did with Joe Cowley. Did the same thing. Had him autograph the program and I don't know why I chose this picture because it's not even a complete picture of him. This one's a great autograph over here. I got Larry Zabisco and Bruno Sammartino to sign the same picture. Um, if you guys don't know much about wrestling, Bruno and Larry Zabisco had a huge feud in the beginning of the 80s. Larry Zabisco was Bruno's protege when he turned on him. And back then it was one of the most shocking things ever. Um, and they uh, blew off the feud in a steel cage match at Shea Stadium. This one is of Missy Hyatt, another autograph that got, kind of got messed up over the years. This here's one of Jonathan Vilma that I got at a uh, car at a card convention in Long Island, and here's one of uh, Brooks Bollinger, same uh, convention that I got the uh, autograph. Uh, here's an autograph of Maurice Jones, Drew, uh, Maurice Jones Drew, that I had gotten at Models during uh, Super Bowl week a couple of years ago when the Super Bowl was here in New York and I also got Johnny B. Bad when he was still Johnny B. Bad in WCW when he did a, a radio show here in New York there used to be a guy named John Arezzi who had a radio show uh, talked nothing about wrestling for about an hour and that's where before um, you were able to find out all the rumors on the internet he had all the scoops so I used to listen to him Got some different stuff here. I got an autograph of Johnny Bauer, Hockey Hall of Famer. I, I, w I want to buy, get an 8x10 and front mat this little nameplate with the picture of Joe Buck signed my All Star Game ballot. And over here, same thing as the nameplates. I got um, Brian Trottier and I got Bobby Nystrom. So I will get pictures and mat them all together. Sorry guys, um, as I was shooting the video, I realized I didn't have much time left, so I had to stop the video, delete some stuff, and now I'm back to continue. So anyway, this autograph of um, Aaron, Andrew uh, Garfield, I got right bef before the Spider-Man came out, the Amazing Spider-Man came out, and um, he was doing Broadway, and I got him, he signed this, it was real nice. Uh, funny thing was that he had his shoes untied, and he I didn't want him to trip, so I called out to him and told him, I don't know if your spidey sense works, but your shoe's untied. And he just laughed and said he knew, so it was pretty cool. Um, got this of Wesley Walker. Actually, this was bought. I didn't meet Wesley Walker. I wish I would have, but I bought it from a, rep, from a reputable guy that I know of. Um, here's an autograph of Ruben Sierra. Uh, not the nicest guy in the world. Um... He was doing a signing in the White Plains show, and I went uh, from, went, went to meet him. I also got him to sign the Yankee baseball for me for the ball collection. Um, didn't talk to you at all. He was talking to someone else, completely ignored you. They just shoved what you had. He signed it without even looking at you and just gave it back and just gave it off. It was, it kind of, the meeting kind of sucked, so what are you going to do? A lot of that, some athletes are like that. Some are real nice. Um, here's an autograph of the first Jets quarterback. I remember watching as a kid, it's Richard Todd. Uh, this was, I believe, probably the last year the Jets wore this uniform uh, the, before they switched over to the uh, greens that they wore in the 80s, which I kind of wish they would bring back as an alternate. Um, I would rather them, the Jets keep this uniform um, and bring the greens back as an alternate and not use those uh, New York Titan uniforms anymore. Here I got an autograph of uh, JPP. Uh, again, this was during Super Bowl week. And he was uh, appearing at a Dwayne Reed. And here I got this one of Jim Brown at a Macy's. He was doing an autograph again, Super Bowl week. Um, what kind of ticked me off was that they said if you paid, bought something $50, you can get anything signed. So I bought from them, I actually bought the Browns helmet that they overcharged for 30 bucks, And then I bought a t-shirt to get the autograph. Waited online for three hours. 
And then when we get there, his um, handler announces he's only signing these pictures, which which the point of me buying the mini helmet was to have him sign the mini helmet. So luckily for me, I got my money back. A lot of people were ticked off, and they all it was a huge line at the register to return their stuff. And luckily, I was one of the few that actually came up and got kept it got to keep the autograph and return my stuff the manager said anybody who wants to return their items will have to give the autograph back so and that was probably the one of the times I that was the time I said to myself I'm never doing Macy's again Macy's was just really bad and uh, here's an autograph that I got at Foot Locker Super Bowl week of Victor Cruz and here's one of my favorite one of my, my my second favorite, my I would say probably my first or second favorite hockey player of all time, Martin Brodeur. Fortunately, he signed in black right over the Stanley Cup, so you can't really see it. But he did sign this for me. And I got a autograph of Scotty Stevens, one of the best defensive players I've ever seen play the game. If you haven't seen that, some of the hits that this guy's laid on players, go find YouTube. Go go to YouTube and. Watch a couple of his hits, man, especially the one that he gave to Eric Lindros in the uh, Eastern Conference Championships. And there was another hit that he gave to um, Korea um, of Anaheim in the Stanley Cup Finals. Very vicious. And I got this one of Scott uh, uh, Shane Spencer. And what this one of Pat Kelly. And I got this one of Phil Rizzuto. Years ago, when I was a kid, I wrote to him in care of Channel, in care of the Yankees, and he signed it for me. And this one is of Bob Guerin, who I think I think Bob Guerin's uh, managing Oakland now, if I'm not mistaken. I got this, got that one. He played with the Yankees. Uh, got this index card of Tony Kubek, which I definitely want to get an eight by ten and frame that bad boy up. Hall of Fame announcer, member of championship Yankee teams. I got a couple of these pages that are plain. Now we get to the good stuff. Get to the cards that I got. I'm just going to go through these really fast. Javier Vasquez, Tim Stoddard, Stephen White, Dr. Bobby Brown, Chase Wright, Jeff Carstens, uh, Chad Curtis before he went to jail, Steve Kemp, Jill Skinner, Tim Foley, Don Larson, Steve Bye Bye Balboni. Ron Blomberg, Jose Contreras, Tommy Trush, Bobby Richardson, Roy White, uh, Jerry Coleman, Randy Velarde, Lou Burdett, Moose Gowan, Lou Pinella, Jim Leyritz, Doug Drabeck, Bernie Williams, which I think is a, fu a fake autograph actually, Goose, Robin Ventura, Hank Bauer, Steve Farr, former reliever, Butch Weinecker, Clyde King, Gil McDougal, Edouard Ramirez, who I thought was going to be a good pitcher, Jose Tabatha, which was another player who I thought was going to be really good, and I was a little ticked that the Yankees traded him, um, Chris Britton, Jesse Barfield got this one on the scorecards that were given out by the stadium, at, by the Yankees, rather, at the stadium, and he signed it for me at the stadium. If I wouldn't known then what I know now, I would have kept the set intact, but... At least I got Barfield to sign it for me outside the stadium. Uh, Mike Blowers, Ron Kittle, I got him twice. Braden Bur uh, Perdet, eh, wasn't that really that great of a prospect. I got him when he was at Staten Island. Fred Chicken Stanley, signed two for me. Tyler Clippard, who's now with, back with the Yankees. Um, Charles Hudson, Burt Campanaris. Jimmy Key, got him twice. Gawa, Ross Ollendorf. Oh my god, I forgot this guy's name. Trying to see if I can remember it. John Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Um, this one took a while to get back. Jack McDowell. John Olrood. Glenn Allen Hill. Xavier Hernandez. I remember I wrote this to him when I wrote ask for, asking for the autograph. He actually played catch with me. Um, during when the Yankees had a workout when he came back from the strike back in 80, 95. Um, and he played catch with me. During which um, I got to keep the ball. Uh, Buck Showwater signed twice for me. 
Gary Ward, Rick Cerrone, Rick Reichel, John Flaherty, who's now an announcer with the Yankees. Brett Gardner, I got him before he be, he got to be decent. Brad Arnsberg signed twice for me. Dave Lapointe, Henry Cotto, Larry Boa, Mark Salas, Mike Stanley signed twice for me. Steve Trout, Walt Terrell signed twice for me. Chris Waller, Billy Sample. Great response when he sent me the autograph back. We were we had gotten hit with snow, and he was like, "Is it snowing enough for you?" Uh, Bob Guerin, um, John Lieber signed twice for me. Actually, Bob Guerin signed twice for me also. Uh, Brian Diet, Octobio Dotel, Tom Brookins, Ching Ming Wang signed twice for me. Man, I wish he never got injured. That guy was such was a good pitcher. Mike Griffin. Aaron Small, um, Drew Henson, Dave Robertson, Bob Shirley, Jose Molina, Mike Stanton, Louis Tiant, Sal Fasano, Phil uh, Lintz, Luis Aguayo, Roy Smalley, Carl Pagano, Aguayo signed twice for me, Jeff, Wa Jeff uh, Weaver, Matt Noakes, finally got Matt Noakes. It was like a war to get this guy. I wrote to him, never got anything back. Finally, he was doing a Yankee thing, and I got him outside the function, and he signed for me. Don Slott, Austin Kearns, Xavier Nady, Dale Mahorek, Andy Fox, Enos Slaughter. I bought this one from eBay. I'm pretty sure that one's a real doll because I've compared it with other Enos Slaughters. Uh, Jarrett Wright. Travis Lee, Dave Island, who was a Yankee, the Yankee uh, pitching coach during the World Championship team. Jerry Mumphrey, Tony Clark, Tim Leary, Tommy John, Dallas Green, God rest his soul. Um, Mariano, what the heck? I couldn't even read that for a second, but that's Mariano. Got him a sign for me. Bob Wickman, Rich Dotson, Kyle Farnsworth, or as I like to call him, Kyle Farnsworthless. Sean Chacon. Bob Watson, Hal Morris, Mickey Rivers, Sterling Hitchcock, Steve Adkins, Bobby Meacham, Aaron Boone, who tweeted to me that if I saw him at the stadium, he'd sign for me again. Brandon Clausen, Sean Henn, Brent Cox, Tony Womack, Mike Eastler, Jim Beatty, Greg Nettles. This was one of the most disappointing... Uh, meetings ever even more disappointing than um, than with Ruben Sierra reason being is because I was a huge Nettles fan growing up and I told him that when I met him and he kind of like blew me off and this was a paid signing too so I was really my, my girlfriend at the time saw how disappointed I was when I left I didn't want to do any more card shopping and I'm a cardaholic so if that if I left after a meeting with someone you know they'd really upset me uh, Rupert Jones Mike Armstrong Moose, great signer, or he used to be at least. I don't know if he still is. Alvaro Espinoza, Ramiro Mendoza, Ron Hassey, Robinson Cano, don't you know? Joe Girardi, Roberto Kelly, Eric Slaughterholm, Chuck Carey, Andy Stankowitz, Ralph Halk, Mariano Duncan, Phil Hughes, Hal Lanier, Dom Baylor, probably one of the worst autographs I've ever seen in my life. Another Hensley Mullins. Hank Bauer. Jay Buna. Dan Pasqua. Darnell McDonald. AJ Burnett. It was a gift to me thanks to my friend Do uh, Dodger Bobble. Zach McAllister. Paul Zavella signed twice for me. Eric Hinsky. Curtis Granderson, I got this one signed outside City Field while he was with the Mets. Um, Sean Hare, no, Craig Hare, I'm sorry. Dave LaRoche, and last Yankee autograph I have here is Chase White. Chase Whitley, rather, I'm sorry. Next is my Jets autographs. Bruce Cosett, former head coach. Santana Moss, got in person. Mike, uh, Mark Gastineau, got in person. 
Kenny O through the mail when he was signing. I don't think he signs anymore. Um, Pat Leahy through the mail. Lamar, uh, Lamont Jordan, he was running back for the Jets. Got him in person. Curtis Martin through the mail when he was signing. Jericho Cotri through the mail. Kyle Clifton through the mail. Marty Lyons, great signer. Got him through the mail. Matt Snell, another mate, a great signer. Got him through the mail. Emerson Boozer through the mail. Dave Herman through the mail. Jeff Lagerman signed three through the mail for me. Lou Picon through the mail. This was a gift. Um, Paul Wynn. No, Paul Wise, I'm sorry. Got him uh, from a friend. Uh, Rob Moore. Uh, another Rob Moore. This was a custom card that I made when I was doing the, the customs. Uh, Jets Grass. Got two from Buddy Bubby Brister. Al Toon through the mail. Mark Washington through the mail. Or Marvin Washington, I'm sorry. Scott Deckering through the mail. Got two Matt Snells through the mail on my uh, custom cards. Trevor Riley, gift from a friend who got him through the mail. Abdul Salam through the mail. Um, Lee White, I think his name was. He was part of the Super Bowl team. Uh, a friend of mine gave that to me. He got him through the mail. Some more jet graphs from my custom cards. Rick Meyer through the mail. Got signed two. Emerson Boozer through the mail. Signed two. Jerry, Jerry Philman signed two of my customs through the mail. Blair Thomas. Herm Edwards signed two through the mail. And now we go to my hockey stuff. Um, Kevin Todd signed two through the mail. Paul Statsny only signed one at a time. He signed it through the mail. Uh, this one's uh, Scott Clemson. Scott Clemens, rather, through the mail. Mark Johnson through the mail. Paul House, Phil Housley, rather, through the mail. Jimmy Dowd, got him in person at, uh, at the Prudential Center. Values Hill Pukin through the mail. Bob Carpenter signed the back of the card through the mail. Um, Chris Terreri signed two through the mail. Bruce Driver got him in person. Signed two in person for me. Aaron Broughton through the mail. Kevin Weeks through the mail. Got him through the NHL Network. Tom Chorsky through the mail. David Malley signed two through the mail for me. I think Dave Malley's with the uh, is an announcer now. I think he, I got he, I got him through the Ducks. I think I remember. Um, actually, signed three. There's a third one. Brendan Shanahan. I got extremely lucky through the mail. He doesn't sign at all. Um, Chico Rush signed two for me through the mail. Zach Parisi when he was signing signed through the mail. Um, these are custom also. He signed two for me. Kevin Weeks signed two through the mail. One of the best hockey announcers, probably the best hockey announcer going today. Doc Emmerich signed two through the mail. Uh, these are my custom Nick cards, which I'm going to turn to actual better customs. And I probably do cut autographs on these. Um, Dick McGuire. Uh, Henry Gatlin. Richie Guerin. And Lenny Wilkins signed two through the mail. Oh, well, actually, that's lucky because... <laughs> he was right next to each other. Uh, Dick McGuire signed this through the mail. Harry Gatlin, Richie Guerin signed the top. Oscar, Ozzy Sheckman, who was the, first, the the guy who scored the first basket in NBA history. The Knicks were playing the, the Toronto Huskies. And this was the first game, and he got the first basket, and he signed this custom for me. Uh, Lenny Wilkins, Keith Van Horn. Oh, next page, rather. I'm sorry. Kenny, Kenny Walker through the mail. Henry Gatlin through the mail. Mark Jackson through the mail. This one took a while. Henry Gatlin again signed two for me through the mail. Keith Van Horn through the mail. Next we got some Islander cards. Bobby Nystrom through the mail. Garth Snow two through the mail. Um, Alexi Yashin signed two through the mail. Patrick Flatley through the mail. Brian Trottier through the mail. Kenny Morrow through the mail. Don Maloney through the mail. Doug Crossman through the mail. Brent Sutter signed two for me through the mail. And uh, uh, Ron um, Hextall, I'm sorry. He skipped me for a second. One through the mail. And these are some other custom cards. Lee McPhail, Daryl Strawberry, 
uh, Chris, I'm sorry, Charlie Hayes signed the back of it for some reason. Uh, Jimmy Key, Ross Allendorf. Some of these I'm not going to recognize. Brett Gardner. Um, is this Armando? I think this was Armando Benitez, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. I just, I just can't read it right now. I should have wrote the names in the back. Rick Ross Show. I usually send these off with when I send the cards. There goes Larry Boa. Uh, I think this is Ron Blomberg, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Brian Dayette. Walt Terrell. I guess I can always keep these in here, or I could probably even this Jeff Torborg, Louis, Louis Tiant, Mike Messina, Bill Verdon, Bobby Shantz, Bob Kuzman, and these are some of the custom cards also that um, another card company makes. Some of these come out came out really nice also. Yeah, Michael K, the Yankee announcer. These are some of the devil ones I got. So I'll just go really quickly through here. I'm going to try to read the names off to you. There's Jay Vanderchuk. He signed two for me. Got some of the Knicks here also. Richard Guerin, Lenny Wilkins, Walt Bellamy, Ozzie Sheckman, Kenny Walker, Dick McGuire. And some of the Islanders also here. Go really quick on that. And we got some Jets here also. Bobby Brister. No, Bobby Brister. I'm sorry. Kenny O'Brien. Got that one in person. Uh, Dave Lammons, or Peter, Pete Lammons, who's passed away now. He was a tight end for the Jets. No, he wasn't. I think he was a safety. I'm sorry. Um, some of the other hockey ones I was working on got Guy Lafer. Um, Jack O'Connell is starting to work on the Team USA. Callahan, rather. I was starting to work on the Team USA cards. Kenny Morrow. Then I got Bobby Clark through the mail on my custom. Um, Johnny Bauer custom. Uh, Jim Craig, Team USA card. Uh, Bobby Hull signed two in custom for me. John Bellavu signed custom for me. Signed two of those. Uh, Steve Shutt signed the custom signed this card for me also. And I got uh, Brett Hull twice also. Um, I think I'm gonna end the video for now. I'll come back and I'll do a part two to this at another time because uh, this video's already gone 20 minutes and plus the other little bit that I have is going to be a little longer. It's going to be almost a 20 minute, 25 minute video and I want you guys to wait too long. So I'll do a part two video and upload that right after I upload this one. So anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. Please click that subscribe button. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, click the like button if you liked the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Remember guys, collecting is the life. Live it.